right there. There's Giannis pulls up from the elbow. Look at 52. Right there. That's your spot. And don't hesitate. I mean, he's been really good from that spot the last few games. Left elbow about 15 feet away. Zubas didn't want any part of him. He's getting like a four or five foot cushion. Giannis is willing the Bucks all the way back. He's got the last 10 points here for Milwaukee. Giannis with the rebound, his 15th of the night. Brings it across the timeline. A chance to take the lead. Giannis is fouled by Zubats. That's his fifth. Don't stop now. It's the ball. Marshall misses at the free throw line. Yeah. Advantage here for the Clippers. Two minutes left to play. I believe Giannis will find a way to, to, to get it back, but you've got to stop him down at this end first. There's a miss. There's a stop. Ball back into the hands of Giannis. From up top, he sees his lane and again draws the foul. This Two points for the Bucks. Talk about this with scabs on his shoulders that he is carrying this team here down the stretch. The first leads until it's 39 to 38. Kawhi looking for it. Giannis rips it down. He's doing absolutely everything. Goes left side this time against this whole Clippers defense. Giannis spin move left and short. He gets his own rebound. Puts it back. Yep. They won't count it. It's a jump ball. Jump ball. That's a good game. And you see right there, Kawhi. It's a heck the claw. of a play. The claw. That, that, that 7 2. Giannis wins the tap into Pat Connaughton's hands. Over to Drew Holiday. The pick hands to deflect it by Norman Powell. 117 left to play. Eight seconds. He does. Here's Giannis up against Kawhi. The back down. The spin. Giannis short. He was right on target. Yeah. It'll be Bucks basketball from the baseline. Shot clock resets to 14. See, I was the call here. Giannis gets the touch. Turns and faces. Up against Kawhi. 105 left. Gives it to Wesley Matthews. 4-3. In and out. How close was that? But that was the right play. You know, my thought process was that somebody else was going to have to knock down a shot in that situation. With all the defensive attention, Giannis was going to command and the defensive abilities of the Kawhi Leonard. Bucks playing some defense there at half court. Here's Paul George. Ooh. Air ball. Wow. Ooh. That is something you wouldn't expect from him. Well, it's late. Really late. Everybody's a little tired now. Too. Not for the L.A. guy. <laughs> Night's just that, started. They've been on the road for a while. Oh, there you go, see? Now Paul George comes back and kind of makes up for that air ball with a great defensive steal on the lazy pass by Drew Holiday. So the Clippers use their last time out. It's Washington, January 3rd. 27.1 left to play. Into the hands of Kawhi with Drew defending. Kawhi with a back down turnaround from 15 feet out. Another rebound for Giannis. He's got 18 rebounds on the night. Oh, and turns no. it over. Well, and, and you know, it talked about it when he was sitting on the bench that he had to be on fumes, and I think you could attribute that turnover, a lot of it to just, just mental fatigue and physical fatigue of playing so hard and so aggressive and so well. Remember the Bucks still have two timeouts left. The Clippers have zero timeouts left. It'll be Morris taking it out from the sideline. Gives it to Reggie Jackson. Kawhi now from up top. Gets the screen from Paul George. Wesley Matthews switches on to him. Wesley Matthews defending Kawhi. That's a tough shot. Fade away. Defensive stop. But Josh Tibben yeah. is holding his hands up. Well, that's a great defensive possession by Wesley Matthews. There can't be that much time left on, on the clock. This, this game is over. Game is over. Hey. Game is over. Final play. All good. The Bucks have come all the way back for the largest comeback of the season. Trailing by as many as 21 and off the shoulders and the back of Giannis in the fourth quarter. A 54-point game. A